In this video we're going to graphics exponential functions. We'll just do these examples. Uh, f of x equals 2 to the power of x and f of x equals 3 to the power of x. So let's start with example 1 and hopefully hopefully you have some graph paper there. And um, what we're going to do um, to graph the function is just calculate some inputs and outputs and then plot the points, right? So we will because we use an xy axis I guess I always like to just kinda cross out this guy and write y equals 2 to the power of x and then make a table and uh, pick some inputs for x and I guess what I usually like to do is to go down the page or down the table somewhere and plug in 0 and see what we get so this will give us a chance to review our exponents as well okay so you can see that the x the input is part of the exponent this is 2 to the power of x so the output is going to be uh, 2 to the power of x and if x is 0 that means the output will be 2 to the power of 0 now can you remember what that makes 2 to the power of 0 you know we should probably do a whole table just to remind ourselves of exponent rules right we'll plug in x is 1 2 3 as well and we'll calculate 2 to the power of x each time okay so if x is 1 2 to the power of x is 2 to the power of 1 if x is 2 2 to the power of x will be 2 to the power of 2 if x is 3 2 to the power of x 2 to the power of 3 right so let's calculate each one of these So you might remember 2 squared is uh, 2 times 2, 4, right? So that output is 4. 2 cubed, of course, 2 times 2 times 2, which is... Calculate 2 cubed, and calculate 2 to the power of 1. Okay, so 2 to the power of 3 is 8, right? So that output is 8. 2 to the power of 1, what's 2 to the power of 1? 2 cubed is 3 twos multiplied. 2 squared is 2 twos multiplied. 2 to the power of 1 is just 1 2 all by itself. So what's 2 to the power of 0? Can you remember? You might remember the sequence we uh, showed with exponents. The pattern is as these numbers get less, 3, 2, 1 and so on, like uh, to go from here to here for example if I take 8 and divide it by 2, if I take 8 and divide it by 2, I get 4, right? If I take 4 and divide it by 2, divide it by the base 2, if I take 4 divided by 2, I get 2. And if I take 2 and divide that by 2, I get what? What is 2 divided by 2? 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1, right? So 2 to the power of 0 is 1, you might remember. Okay? So we have these outputs anyway. Let's plot these. These are all x, y ordered pairs, right? 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 8. So press pause on the video and plot these on your graph. Just plot the points. Okay, press pause and do it if you need time. Okay, I'm going to do it now. So 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, and 3, 8. Okay? And let's plug in x is 4 just for fun to see what we get. If x is 4, what's the output? Calculate the output if x is 4. The output y equals 2 to the power of x, so that's going to be 2 to the power of 4. Okay? Which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 4 twos multiplied. What does that give? 16, right? So we also have 4, 16. X is 4, Y is 16, which is all the way up, all the way up here somewhere, right? Okay, so if we were to join these points up, you would have a curve, wouldn't you? 
I'm not going to do it yet because I want to get some more points in this direction. How do we get some more points over here? See if the line continues over here. What will we do to get more points over here? Well, how about plug in x is negative 1 and negative 2 and negative 3 and see what happens, right? So plug in negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 and calculate those outputs. So if x is negative 1, we have to get 2 to the power of x. We have to get 2 to the power of negative 1. If x is negative 2, we need to get 2 to the power of negative 2 and 2 to the power of negative 3, right? So what's 2 to the power of negative 1? Do you remember? If you have a negative exponent, you need to get the reciprocal. So we've got to get 1 over 2 to the power of 1. You might remember that. Or you could also look at the sequence. You take the last answer, 2 to the power of 0, which is 1, and you divide 1 by 2. 1 divided by 2, you see, gives 1 half. And that's the same as 1 over 2 to the power of 1. Okay? So you take 1 divided by 2 and you get 1 divided by 2, 1 half. Okay, so 2 to the power of 1, negative 1 is a half. How about 2 to the power of negative 2? You can think of it a couple of ways. It's a, it's a negative exponent, so that means reciprocal. 1 over 2 squared. Okay, Or you can say if I take a half and divide a half by 2, a half divided by 2 is a quarter. Right? Half divided by 2 is a quarter. And of course, 1 over 2 squared is a quarter. So that's two ways of rem remembering it. Right? So 1 quarter. Right? 2 to the power of negative 3. Calculate 2 to the power of negative 3. Press pause and do that if you need to. So it's 1 over what? 1 over 2 cubed, right? And 2 cubed, of course, is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, so 1 over 8. And of course, a quarter, if I took a quarter and divided it by 2, I'd get an eighth, right? Okay, so this is 1 eighth. So let's try and plot these points. Negative 3, 1 eighth, negative 2, a quarter, negative 1, a half, right? Let's start with negative 1, 1 half. Here's negative 1, and here's 1 half. See that? Negative 1, 1 half. Negative 2, 1 quarter is here. Negative 3, 1 eighth is here. So that's those three points. How do you think these points are going to continue in this direction? Isn't it interesting how, okay, we've got a half, and then we take half of that, a quarter. We take half of that, one eighth. How about with negative four? It'll be one over 16. With negative five, it's one over 32. With negative six, one over 64. The answer just keeps having and having and having. But it will never touch this line, because the points just get lower and lower and, lo and lower to where you can't see them, but they don't actually touch the x-axis and they won't ever go below the x-axis, right? You'll never get this line. Will never go below the x-axis. Okay. So continue it. So if we were to join, draw the curve. Okay. If you were to get a whole bunch of points with with uh, you know negative or negative point five and negative point two and negative one point five for x, you would you would get this curve joining up all the points like this okay and the curve stays above the x-axis it goes on and on forever in that direction but it never goes below the x-axis stays above it my little arrow went below the x-axis let's take that out okay. so it keeps going on forever and in this direction what happens to it just shoots up up and up and up because as x increases your answer doubles. See it goes 2, 4, 8, 16, the next one would be 32, you see then 64. So the answer keeps doubling, doubling, doubling. So it shoots off really high in that direction. Okay. So this is the function f of x equals 2 to the power of x. Now please press pause and do the exact same thing for f of x equals 3 to the power of x. Okay, 
so I'll, I guess I'll start you off. The first thing we did was we said let that be y, so we've got y equals 3 to the power of x. Then we made a table, and I guess I'll help you again. We plugged in 0, 1, 2, 3, and then we plugged in some negatives, okay? Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Then we calculated the exponents. So please press pause and at least fill out the table and then check the video to see if you've got the table. Or if you get stuck on the table, check the video. So, But please press pause right now and try it yourself. Okay, I hope you've tried it. I'm going to do it pretty quickly now. I need to get 3 to the power of negative 3, 3 to the power of negative 2, negative 1, and so on, right? So x is the exponent. The input is right here, so I'm going to plug the input negative 3 up here. See that? And I'll calculate each output. Now 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3. 3 squared is uh, 3 times 3. 3 to the power of 1 is just 3, right? 3 squared is 9. And this, of course, is 27. So hopefully you've got this much correct at least. Okay. Press pause and continue from here if, if this helps you continue. Okay, I'm going to go, go on now. Um, remember, like, what's 3 to the power of 0? Well, to get the next number in the sequence in that direction, we take, like, if you took 27, you see, and divided it by 3. 27 divided by 3 is 9, right? 9 divided by 3 is 3. And to get the next number, 3 divided by 3, 3 divided by 3 is just 1. So 3 to the power of 0 is actually 3 divided by 3, which is 1, okay? Anything to the power of 0 is 1, isn't it? To get 3 to the power of negative 1, negative exponent means reciprocal. And the reciprocal of 3 is 1 over. So it's 1 over 3 to the power of 1. Or you could take the last answer, which was 1, and divide it by 3. And that gives you 1 over 3, 1 third. Okay? And calculate these other ones. If you haven't done it yet, press pause and do these guys. Okay, I hope you've tried them. 3 to negative 2 is 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 over 9. 3 to negative 3 is 1 over 3 cubed, which is 1 over 27. So 1 ninth, 1 27th. And then to plot these points, I'm going to start with 0, 1. 0, 1. All of these, oh sorry, and then I'll do 1, 3. 1, 3. Then 2, 9. 2, 9, 3, 27, 3, and 27 would be uh, way up uh, here somewhere, right? So in any case, it shoots off real high for 327. Negative 1, 1 third. Negative 1, 1 third. Negative 2, 1 ninth. Negative 3, 1 27th. And you can just kind of imagine where that would be. It's hard to do it perfectly in the graph. But the point is, when you graph this, cur this these points, they're going to make a curve, first of all. The curve shoots off real high in that direction. Now, you just got to make sure that your curve is not going back in. Okay? It doesn't do that. It goes up and out to the right a bit. It just, it, you know, it keeps going out to the right. It keeps going up basically right so that's the direction it goes so make sure you're when you draw your curve you've got to show that the other thing is when it goes in this direction it never goes below the x-axis okay it does not go below the x-axis you can see as x gets smaller like at negative one it's one third at negative two it's a ninth at negative three it's at one twenty seventh it gets divided by three as you go in this direction the answer gets divided by 3. But you can keep dividing by 3, but you'll never get a negative number. You see, these are all negative y's. 
they'll never become negative it'll just get smaller and smaller and smaller so it goes on and on forever in that direction and it stays above the x-axis okay and of course it doesn't go back up again make sure your curve doesn't go up make sure it doesn't go down it just goes straight along okay so not up not down just straight along just above the x-axis uh, or not straight but it's supposed to get smaller and smaller but you just show that the best you can just make sure your curve doesn't go up or down and you'll you'll be fine you'll get the points and make sure your curve does not go back uh, or anything so so here it, it has to go up and, and out a bit to the right so that is the graph of f of x equals 3 to the power of x